Welcome back to the High Sea Error Report. Continuing my discussion on the various commissions that the City Council appointed yesterday, one of them was the Planning Commission. Let's take a look at the duties and responsibilities of the Planning Commissioner. First is to assist in the preparation and update of and make recommendations to the City Council concerning the general plan for the physical development of the City. The second is to perform those duties set forth in Article 7 of the California Government Code under such conditions as the City Council may establish from time to time. In addition to making recommendations to the City Council, they also take a look at things such as the sign ordinance. And so if somebody wants to put a new sign up, um, then they would come in front of the Planning Commission and the Planning Commission would make sure that the sign complies with the current codes. Um, another thing that they do is also take a look at the current codes to see if new projects are in compliance. Now one of the things that we're going to ask the Planning Commission to do this year is to take a look at the design codes and redo them. So let me give you an example. We have a BevMo and we now have an AutoZone. <clears throat> Those BevMo's all look the same. The, the AutoZones pretty much all look the same. Now while our general plan does state that we would like to have all new retail establishments have an alpine feel to them, the code does not mandate that. So yesterday at City Council we instructed the planning department <clears throat> to work with the planning commission to have them revise the entire design codes for the city so that future buildings might look more alpine in nature. So they'll come up with recommendations, they'll bring it back to city council, and the city council will either approve or ask them to revise the revised uh, design codes. <clears throat> so yesterday there were 12 applicants, five were appointed. Here are the five that were appointed. First was Scott Blumenthal, the second was Judy Brown, the third was Shannon Eckmeyer, fourth was Dale Rise, and then finally Craig Woodward. <clears throat> I'm very happy to report that we have great diversity on the Planning Commission this year. We have um, an environmentalist who happens to be an attorney, we have a real estate individual, we have an artist who brings a creative eye to the process, um, we have a contractor, and maybe as important as anything we have an experienced Planning Commissioner, Judy Brown, who also used to be the mayor of the city. So hopefully she'll help guide the newbies through the process um, as the planning commission eats on a, meets on a monthly basis. Other things that happened at city, city council yesterday, uh, city council uh, elected to give themselves a raise. Uh, city council has not had a salary increase since 1998. So in compliance with California code on salary, which is established by the state, uh, city council voted to raise its salary from $452 a month, that's a month, to $946. At 20 hours a week, that comes out to about 12 hours a week. But I can tell you from my experience of being on council now for two months, it's a lot more than 20 hours. Um, in fact, Wendy, David, and I were just in Sacramento for three straight days. That's 72 hours right there. City Council also approved the sale of the vacant lot at the corner of Ski Run Boulevard and Highway 50 to a company called Hafferty Development. Uh, out of Pasadena, who has until June 1st of 2016 to get a building permit for the nearly 1.5 acres. Now, I know a lot of people have been hearing rumors that's going to turn into a pharmacy. That's not going to be the case. Part of the agreement is, is that the developer and the city must enter into a design and development agreement which will dictate what the building will look like. So we have a little bit of input to make sure that it doesn't turn into another Rite Aid, and we also have a commitment from the developer that he has other plans, such as a mixed-use facility with upscale restaurants and retail shops. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the governator coming back to the screen. Stay with us.